All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Arakakodash. A double honor is unto the elders and apostles of GMS, Great Millstone, and a sincere Shalom to Yaki and bringing out this word in diligence and in truth. And as you see, this uh, article is from the RT, and it reads 600,000 UK small businesses could go bust this year. And we understand this is all leading into ultimately a global uh, economic failure, man. You know, because Yahweh Bashem Shah, as the scripture says, they are bringing these plagues or these scourges for a mimic. You know, whether it be famine, you know, race riots, uh, whether it be uh, um, pestilence, you know, apparitions, newly created creatures. You know, all of these different scourges are going to hit everywhere, man. You know, that's why when we go into the book of Daniel 12, oh, matter of fact, this is Daniel 12 at the top. It says, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince who standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. Right, so it's going to be a trouble or troubles upon the world, you know, chaos. And when we go into the book of Ezekiel, it tells us lamentation, mourning, and woe. It's going to be a, a time of, of great, you know, distress. And not only in America, but worldwide. Because when you look at the news today, America seems as if it's the only place that's not really getting touched with uh, with plagues as the other places. You know, you have every other country. Uh, their their citizens are rioting. You know, they're marching down the streets. You know, they're they're setting things on fire. They're rebelling against the, the government, their police, you know, due to numerous of reasons. But when you look at the streets of America, they're empty. You know, nobody's mad here. Nobody's angry. You know, nobody's nobody's fighting against their uh, their their police and or our military force. Not yet. But that has a lot to do with normalcy bias as well, because if the American people won't know what hits them until it hits them. You know, you can you can show in the news that there's division between the states, you know, as the scriptures say, um, and if Satan be divided against himself, his kingdom shall not stand. You know, you can you can clearly see that there's a uh, tension, <clears throat> division. Hey, the price of everything is going up. There's been uh, the attacks on everything from from gas to to to, you know, uh, the raising of rent to the raising of food prices. So you can see that all these factors are going to cause a domino effect. Right. It says and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was um, since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Every one. Every one that shall be found written in the book. Right. And we understand that goes for the elect, man. The one's 44,000 and the 12,000 out of each of the 12 tribes, which are men and the one third man, which consists of men, women and children. But back to the article, it says, um, and this is in UK, but we understand the same type of uh, ordeal will be happening within the States. It says the cost of living crisis may lead to new or it's like it may lead to massive failures. Right. And we've seen that, um, you know, during the demic. You know, people were getting evicted from their homes a because they weren't making enough or they couldn't go to work, you know, so it caused their their bills to stack up. Well, the same thing is happening here, man, it says around six hundred and thirty small and micro businesses. And we understand these micro businesses also help to propel economies, man. See, you can always have your big businesses like here in the States, you know, your Walmarts, your Kroger's, your Targets, you know, uh, so forth and so on. You know, your businesses like that in which everyone goes, you know, to 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 get of their uh, their supplies. But when the small business start crashing, it does what it eliminates that middle class. You know, and it does what it, it creates a, a higher or a um, huger gap. Uh, between the 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 lower class and the higher class the middle class is taken out which causes people to do what it causes the people at the bottom to 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 scrape and uh and, and search for for more opportunities and these opportunities may result or it's like it not may will result in people being harmed when people at the bottom don't have their their necessities or their their um the, yeah, their basic necessities, what happens, man? Hey, they'll kill for it. They'll rob for it. Hey, they'll do anything 
to make sure that they have their comfort, their comfort. So what you're seeing is the same thing happening in the UK. Uh, an elimination of middle class in order to uh, open that that wage, uh, the the wages between you know the lower class and the higher the upper class, man. So and I'm gonna grab a precept as well because this goes um Salakia. This is uh, Ecclesiastes. I'm gonna start at the top. It says, remember now, uh, this is 12, so like Ecclesiastes 12 at the top. Remember now that I created it in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Right, so hey, our job, hey, and if you're watching, man, your job is to repent, man, and get closer until your how about you, was shy. Hey, because you're going to need that true support, man. You're going to need that, that true staff, the righteous staff, man. You know, not the staff of which uh, Esau is going to give you the staff upon Egypt. But you're going to need protection. And it exceeds past physical threats. Hey, when everyone is out here starving, the scriptures say that ye shall eat. The angels encampeth around those that fear the Lord. You're going to need divine help, man. It says, um, when the, while the sun... Or the light, or the moon, or the stars be not darkened, nor the clouds return after the rain. In the days when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders be uh, grinders cease because they are few, and those that look out of the windows be darkened. Right, and we understand this is going into Zalakia. This is going into uh, uh, no work being found for Egypt, man. So many different industries are being shut down and are being cut off. You have food processing plants all over the country and being burned down to the ground. You have uh, farms which had livestock, uh, whether it be chicken, whether it be beef, a basically basically euthanizing all of their 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 um, supply, man. The same that happened in, in certain egg farms. So you're having all of these. These events, you know, uh, topple one another, which is going to ultimately lead unto, unto destruction, man. It's not going to be able to support itself because the foundation is going to be broken. As that image uh, in the book of Daniel, the second chapter, man. You know, hey, the America is on his last leg. And that throne being stone, it's like in that stone being thrown at that image is Yahweh Shai, man. Ultimately, Yahweh Shai is using his vessels, his men. A, as trumpets as he did in Jericho, a to 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 blow that sound, and for that wall to collapse, man. It says, continuing forward, and the doors shall be shut in the streets when the sound of the grinding is low. That's work, man. Right when you read, um, I'm read uh, KJV and I'm read MLT. It says, and he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and all the daughters of music shall be brought low. Uh, this is the NLT. Remember him before the doors to life opportunities is closed and the sound of work fades right because you're going to need what you're going to need to work a in order to make an income but here is telling you a that britain is about to lose 14.4 billion out of their economy which is 12 billion pounds in their you know in their currency it says um britain have raised concerns that they may have have to fold this year due to spiraling costs um, continued their collapse could reportedly wipe 12 billion pounds out of their economy. More than three quarters of survey respondents described the cost of living crisis as the biggest challenge they have ever faced, calling the price of energy their single biggest concern, man. So in them doing this, what's going to happen? Hey, a lot of people are going to be out on the streets. They're going to be homeless. You know, they're going to be breaking into homes, you know, and there's going to be a lot of death. There's going to be a lot of death, man. Continuing. It says micro businesses, which are typical, typically firms with fewer than 10 employees, represent 90. Come on, man. <laughs> represent 96 percent of all businesses within Britain's private sector. They're the lifeblood of businesses in the UK, and it's them 
that are the front that are on the front line very much feeling the direct impact of the cost of living crisis right and you see this a um it's not so popular uh in uh you know vegas it's much more popular in you know cities like la where you have a uh, more mom and pop uh businesses you know whether it be food whether it be um you know sp specialized grocery stores um herbal shops uh, so forth and so on hey whether they sell like little trinkets uh whatever whatever the case may be you see that more prevalent you know in, in bigger cities um even when you go down south man and you have uh, independent farmers you know that may sell to you know the piggly wigglies you know they may sell to the 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 outside or outsourced grocery stores man you know so you see that it's going to be a huge decline in comfortability it's going to be a huge uh uprising and, and you know chaos man it says around 42 percent said that they wanted support with tech and tax incentives but are also looking more broadly to business support so looking at technical assistance for business development as a well as well as support for digital strategy but let's see let's see but that's the point man hey that all hell is about to break loose soon not only here in america Hey, but Britain as well. Hey, and it's going to be worldwide, man. This hell is going to be worldwide that Yahweh Bashem Yahshua is bringing. Hey, because the earth and the inhabitants of it are wicked, man. They're evil. And there's going to be a change in that rulership. That's why the scriptures say uh, for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth, man. So, hey, Yahweh Bashem Yahshua is going to bring hell before he brings peace. You know, so I just want to bring this lesson unto the body. Lord willing, it was edifying. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh. Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, A double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS Great Millstone, and a sincere shalom to Yaki and bringing out this word in diligence and truth. Shalom.